Faithful adherence to the rule of law is the bedrock principle of the Justice Department and of our democracy. Upholding the rule of law means applying the law evenly, without fear or favor. Well, that was Attorney General Merrick Garland just hours ago addressing the FBI's raid on Trump's Mar-a-Lago home for the first time. He touted the Department of Justice equal application of the law for all Americans. We'll hear with reaction is former FBI Assistant Director, former Acting ICE Director and Acting CBP Commissioner and Newsmax Senior Law Enforcement Analyst Mark Morgan. Commissioner, welcome to the show. Okay, you hear the Attorney General there saying application under the law, equal application for all do you agree? No, absolutely not. Look, first of all, this press conference was about three days too late, didn't answer the majority of significant questions we had, and opened the door further to additional criticism and speculation. Look, in, in the aftermath of an unprecedented action, when the, the, the invading the home of, of a former president never happened in our lifetime, this is a defining moment for, for, for the attorney general to reassure the American people that the Department of Justice and the FBI were not being used and influenced by politics, and he failed. He basically said, hey, just uh, just trust me, because I'm the attorney general. But, oh, by the way, we always use the least intrusive means, even though what we're seeing with our own eyes suggests the opposite. It's just unconscionable what he said today, what, what both Director Ray and the AG are a completely tone deaf to the fact that there is a significant amount of American people that have lost trust both in Director Ray and him personally and the Department of Justice. And now he wants to hide under the umbrella that we can't talk about ongoing investigations. That's absolutely absurd. In the aftermath of unprecedented action, there should be unprecedented transparency. Okay, I want to hit on something you said that he said, uh, the least obtrusive means. This was a nine-hour raid. In your experience with the FBI, is this the least obtrusive, 30 agents, nine hours? I mean, does that seem normal? Well, so that's the question that I think the majority of us have and was not answered. That's why it's so important that we see this affidavit. Because, look, in my opinion, the AG should have and could have addressed that. Why? Why the urgency? Why to show up in, in, in the cover of darkness? You have lights and sirens going off. Yet, you, you know, now there were 20 to 30 agents that go in there unannounced. Why? What was the urgency? He could have, in my opinion, after two decades in the FBI, Lindsay, he could have addressed that fact and that answer without compromising any aspect of the investigation. But we're still left in the complete darkness about that. But what we know so far, if this is about presidential record, at his residence, it absolutely, at what we know now, appears to be extreme overkill. And that's why all the speculation and criticism right now. Okay, so the attorney general also commented um, on recent reports of infighting be between the Department of Justice and the FBI and the attacks that they are seeing. Listen to this. I will not stand by silently when their integrity is unfairly attacked. The men and women of the FBI and the Justice Department are dedicated, patriotic public servants. Okay, obviously we don't want to demonize everybody that's at the DOJ or the FBI, but does this put those rumors to rest that there's not infighting between um, the DOJ and the FBI? Hey, look, my first gutter reaction, again, to someone who's served in the FBI for a very long time, that was just cheap pandering uh, by the AG. Look, the overwhelming majority of Americans know what the issue is. It's not the rank and file. They don't have issues with the rank and file, the men and women that dedicate their lives every single day to do the right thing for the right reasons. The issues we have are with him, with the attorney general and, and Director Ray and the other key members of leadership. That's where the issues lie. Again, I think that was a, a cheap way to, to try to distract from the real issues and the fact that criticism is on him, not the rank and file, Lindsay. Okay, so something that's been getting a lot of play today, yesterday Newsweek broke that there was a potential mole um, in Mar-a-Lago that actually flagged to the FBI that there were documents there that Trump hadn't um, reported to the FBI when they had come earlier in the year. If that is true, let's just say that is true, we don't know, would that elicit a raid or would that be a subpoena? No, look, not based on what we know now. It leads you again. If we're, look, first of all, I, there's no doubt in my mind that, that there was a confidential informant here, it, it, at least one, if not possibly two. There's no doubt in my mind. 
But it's still, if you're still just talking about an issue with, with uh, the National Archive and records, look, th there is a balance here between this and, and ensuring that the, the democracy that, that, that we know in this country and that to make sure that we have trust in our uh, the Department of Justice and our justice system that's not going to be influenced by politics. That should have won if this is just about records. Look, there are multiple things they could have done. They could have issued uh, an action to compel uh, more production or, uh, from the first subpoena. They could have issued a second subpoena. Uh, subpoena. They could have continued with ongoing negotiations. There's so many things, non-intrusive means, that they could have done, Lindsay, based on what we know now. This just seems pure overkill and politics. That's why there's so much speculation and criticism right now. Okay, so the White House came out today and said they didn't know about this press conference that Merrick Garland was giving this afternoon. They also said they didn't know about the raid at all, only about 30 seconds. Is that normal? No, it's not. I can tell you, as a former CBP commissioner uh, of uh, uh, Customs Border Protection, 60,000 people, I can tell you, I was involved in several significant things. The White House knew exactly what we were doing when something significant was happening. I, I, I just have a hard time believing it. And if it's true, I, sh I think it shows a level of dis dysfunction within this administration. Mm. Commissioner Mark Morgan, good to see you this evening. Thanks for your insight. You bet. Thanks, Lindsay. J.P. Morgan CEO is warning that an economic hurricane is coming. Are you preparing? If you don't do anything, your 401k could be a 201k, and that is not good. So call our trusted friends at Lear Capital. For 25 years, Lear has helped investors own gold to protect against market chaos. It's a good thing. They can help you, too. Get your information and up to $15,000 in bonus IRA gold. Just call this number, 800-880-4300. That's 800-880-4300. Thank <laughs> you.